starts in 30 seconds with me, Kim, aka Fitness Snob. No judgment here. Remember, being a fitness snob is all about you being unapologetic for your fitness preferences. See you in a sec. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. So glad you're back here to join me for Tuesday's Tone. Let's just start marching it out. I'll chat while we march. Today we're doing um, the same type of routine, but now for each set, each group of exercises, until we get to abs, we are going to do, um, I want to call them compound moves, but we're going to do combo moves. So we're going to do more than the step side to side for a second. And then let's pull those arms back like we're pushing triceps so we can warm up. We're going to do um, combo moves. So we're going to do two moves in one. So you'll see what I mean, but basically for the first set, instead of doing three exercises, we're actually going to do six. Now let's lift those legs up. I hope everybody had an amazing week and a good Monday, and you are here to work. Now let's stretch those arms over our chest. Just have those legs open wide, tapping that toe. We are going to try to keep this going the whole time. We'll have a few 30-second breaks here and there. But for the most part, the format stays the same as the past. And we are going to repeat a lot of the same exercises. Then step in. Back with the same arm presses to the back for triceps. We're retaining a lot of the same exercises, we're just doing them a little bit differently. So we will absolutely discuss form and modification. But you try to keep it moving. So I would ask for comments, but you can give those to me at the end, because if you're moving, legs back up. If you are moving, you are not typing. If you are typing, you are not moving, so I want you to keep it going. Let's go ahead. Bring the legs in. All right, so our first exercise, we are going to do a good morning. So good morning. Remember those hands behind your head, fingers interlaced. You're going to bend over, almost like you're doing a deadlift, if you're familiar with that. Booty comes out. We are not doing a squat. We're sticking our booty out, and we're coming up. Booty out, and we're coming up. And how we're comboing this move is we're going to do a deadlift, and then we're going to take that right leg out and go to a front lunge. Going to, good morning, left leg out, front lunge. When you lunge, that knee to stay behind that toe. Let's do one more before we switch up. We'll get a chance to go right into these on the next time. Now we're going to do a squat. Remember, knees behind toes, up, and then we're going to lunge. Squat, and then lunge. We're alternating sides. You come down as far as you can. If your lunge is only here for right now, that's okay. Just do what you can. If you can touch the floor. But remember, the knees stay behind the toes. Now you're going to come back here with me. We're going to stay in a squat position, but plie. So if you ever did ballet, 
You know how your toes come out? We're going to squat, lift our heels. So we're working our calves. So just a little pulse and a calf raise. And we're going to take this to a full squat. Down, heels up. Down, heels up. Up, down, heels up. Up, squat, heels up, heels down, up. You want to hold those heels up a little bit because you really want to get that calf some pressure. We're back into good morning. Good morning with the front lunge. Good morning, front lunge, knee. I cannot stress this enough. It's staying behind your toe. So I really, I love saying L7, but this is really a real thing. If you are in the right position, that's how your legs should look. If not, you're way out here, that is not the right move or form. So please be really conscious of it. I'd rather you do fewer and have great form than try to do more and not do as well. We're now back to those front squats with a lunge to the side. Just a few more. And this is another move. Slow down if you need to. We're back into those plies. Squat. This time we're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to squat. We're going to come up. We're going to come up on our toes. Down. Squat. Stand up. Up on our toes. Squat. Up. Up to our toes. Heels down. Squat. Stand up, up to our toes, heels down, squat, up, up to our toes. And remember, try to hold it a second or two when you come to your toes, because that's where you get the hold in your calves. Okay, so we got a little bit of a break, only 30 seconds. So if you need a little bit of breather, that's cool. We're then going to move into our all out, which is going to be a skater. So if you need to just tap the back of the floor, that's fine. If you can bring your leg up and come lower, that's great. If you can touch the floor, that's awesome. But we are going as fast as we can. So whatever your preference or ability for now, remember, just touch the back. We've only got 30 more seconds. Come on, you can do this. Let's back it out. Let's go wind it. Woo, good job. Okay, so we've got 30 seconds to recover from there. I'm going to start showing you the next move. We're going to come to the floor. Hopefully you heard you need a towel today. You don't need it yet. We're going to come to the floor, and our combo move here is going to really be a focus on triceps, but we're going to bring our leg up. So I want you to be bent, knees up, left foot in the air, 
straight. You're pushing yourself all the way up, then all the way down, so you're filling the back of that tricep. You are not pushing up with your hips. You're only pushing up with that foot. And we'll do the opposite leg the next time around. You are not doing anything with this lower body other than holding that leg straight. All of that exercise, uh, exercise should be in that arm. Okay, so now what I want us to do is to grab our towel. We're going to stay on the floor. We're going to bring our hips up. And we're going to pull that towel like we are trying to rip it apart. So from end to end, we're coming down to our chest. Not at your neck, but more at your nipple line. And pull down. I don't want you to rest those elbows, but they absolutely should be hitting the floor if you are laying down. Your hips should be up. Your glutes, that's your booty, should be all engaged. So now we are going to flip over, and we're going to do walk-ups. So again, another combo move. We're going to walk up on our hands. We're going to do a push-up. Then we're going to come back down to our forearm, come back up to our hands, do a push-up. If that is too difficult for anybody, on your knees, push down. Walk up, push down, walk up. You can also hold it as a plank, but I'm warning you now, we're doing planks later. You can hold it on your forearms, or you can just do straight push-ups. All right? We are back over, and we are back to that tricep dip. Opposite leg is up this time. Remember, your legs are, your knees are up, so legs are bent. That right leg is straight out. You are pushing with those arms up. Yeah. If you don't feel this, check form, because I am over here dying on these triceps this morning. Woo. Just a couple more. All right. Now we are back to um, the bridge. So booty up. Everything should be engaged. You're pulling that towel apart like you want to rip it in half. You're coming down. Give me a few more, and then remember, we are flipping over, and we are going into those walk-ups, so forearm to hand with a push-up. Down, up, push-up. Again, you can do your knees. Just do straight push-ups if that's easier. Plank if you want, but remember, we are coming back to a plank. Get one more. Now I want you to come into a child's pose. Hands out. Booty as far back as you can. If you could sit it on the heels, it's awesome. This is just a great stretch. We are here for just a few more seconds, and then we are doing our burst of cardio all out for a minute. And we are doing mountain climbers. So mountain climbers, we're basically switching our feet. Arms are staying 
up in a plank position, and you are running it, like running on the ground. Get it. Get after it. See who we've got joining us this morning. Good morning. I am so appreciative that I've got folks joining us today. And I just lost the music. Of course I did because it wouldn't be a day without me messing up some technical issue. You keep moving. Give me 15 more seconds. I promise you I am watching for it. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Now I want us to take a break. You get 30 seconds. And then we're moving into lower body. You can ignore that. We are over there. All right, now we are moving straight into our sit-up portion. And here we're not going to do um, combo moves. We're just going to do just a single exercise. So I want you to just start with stretches. Just give me a few more, and the crunch is not pulling on your neck or your head. All your abs should be moving it. Your hands are only behind your head as support, so you can lay them back and be a little bit more comfortable. Now, while we're down here, I want you to do a reverse lunge. Legs up, back, head, everything on the floor, heels go in the air. Control it. Get your booty up off the ground as far as you can. Try to keep those legs with as much control as you can. You shouldn't be doing all this. Kind of want you to hurt your back. If that's too much, then just touch your toes. But what we're working with this reverse curl is our lower abs. We work at our upper abs a ton. Now, feet down. We're going to flip over. Here's where we're holding that plank. You can do it on your forearm, or you can do it on your hands. It's only 45 seconds. We can all do this. We want to make sure we've got great form. Your body should be in alignment. Your eyes should be glazing in front of you, not down, but just out a few feet. Suck in that core. While this is working absolutely your whole core, it's also a great arm exercise. Down to your knees, and then we're flipping back over. We're back to crunches. few more, and then your feet back in the air, your whole body is laying down, um, back, head, everything, and then you are pushing up with your heels. Remember, if that's too much, just touch your toes.
All right, now feet down. We're flipping over again. Back to that plank. Your choice. You can do forearms or forearms. And then when we are done with this plank, I'm going to let us go into a child's pose again for a little bit of a stretch. We're definitely working a lot of our shoulders before we flip over and for our cardio burst. So come down to your child's pose. For our cardio burst, we are going to do bicycles because I'm determined that everybody is going to know how to do a bicycle crunch. <laughs> so we're going to do 60 seconds of those. So you got a few more seconds here. I'm going to flip over so I can show you. The bicycle, <coughs> your legs are going to be a tabletop, your hands behind your head. I'm going to kick one foot out, bring the opposite knee in to the opposite elbow, and then cross. Yes, you are going to go incredibly faster than this. But I want to make sure you know, you're pushing your heel all the way out, and you're bringing it back in. You should not be on your toes. You don't ride a bike like that. And you shouldn't even be doing like this, because that doesn't get the pedals anywhere. So let's go. And just like that, you are done. Let's sit up. Kids call it crisscross applesauce. Give me a deep breath in. Hands over the head. Roll it out. Give me another one. I don't know if you did. I absolutely felt those triceps. So I want us to stretch those triceps. You're going to take that left arm, bring it behind your head. You're going to pull that elbow in with your right arm. You can make your left hand touch your back. That's the goal. If not, just bring it down as far as you can, but make sure you are feeling the stretch all in your triceps. All right. Let's release it. Shake that out. Bring that same arm. Let's just bring that across our body. Just hold it with our right arm. Get a good stretch. This always feels good when I kind of rotate my head too. Oh, good job today. Arms out, right arm, um, elbow up, hand on your back. We are pulling lightly with that left hand so we can get a really good tricep stretch. And then we are crossing the body. All right, now we're going to open our legs into a V, and let's stretch over to the right side. And then can we come into the middle? Bring your fingers out as far as you can. And let's walk them over to the left side. I'm going to pull that toe a little bit. That's where you're getting that stretch. Let's bring them in together. 
and use your hands to lift yourself up. And then let's grab this right foot, pull it back to our behind so we can feel that quad stretch. We did a lot of squats and lunges. So your quads absolutely will appreciate this stretch. Then let's take that same foot out, that right foot, kick it out and sit back into it. If you can, pull that um, toe on that right foot just a little bit and you'll feel more of a stretch in those calves that we worked today. Though the calves always get included, especially when you're doing leg exercises. We did some very focused calf work today, so your calves may feel a little sore. Okay, let's go to our left leg. Sometimes I find it harder to um, balance on the opposite leg if you need help balancing. Lifting your arms out, up, to the side often helps. Or putting your hand on a wall is a great helper. Bend down, pull that toe back slightly. All right, let's turn to the front, bend down. A good breath out. One more deep breath in, and a breath out. You all, thank you so much again for joining me for Tuesday's Tone. I hope this was good for you. Please, I'm Kim, a.k.a. Fitness Snob. I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here to help you get motivated to move. Finding the things that work best for you is typically what I find keeps me going. So try out other exercises, find what works best for you. I am always appreciative and love when you can join me here every Tuesday for 30 minutes. Um, leave me messages in the chat. I see some of you guys have been here every single time um, since we started in January. Let me know how it's going for you. Are you starting to feel stronger? Are you getting better form with some of the exercises? That's really helpful for me. You can also hit me up on any of my social media as well. You can DM me too if you have any questions or, or comments that you don't want to share in such a public space. I am Fitness Snob Society on Facebook and Instagram. There's a Fitness Snob Society as well. But you can also hit me up on Instagram at Original Fitness Snob. I'm going to put up a story today. I would love to just get some feedback if you guys are ready to move to another stage. What does that mean? That means maybe using bands, maybe using some light weights. I know we used towels the other day and it was a great workout. I think people really felt a little bit of the additional resistance. So just want to make sure that we're continuing to um, evolve into what you all need. So let me know. I look forward to chatting with you in any space. And thank you again so much for joining me, Kim, a.k.a. Fitness Mob.